Welcome to a brand new Blu-ray haul today. It's the month of October. It's finally ended. Oh my god, we only got two more months till the end of the year. But I want to show you guys my haul for this month. It wasn't as big as last month's. I didn't get too many Funko Pops and I surprisingly didn't get too many Blu-rays and 4Ks. But I still wanted to show you guys. But I'm going to do this little haul a little bit different. I'm going to show you a montage of all my Pops because I've actually already put them into the place that they're supposed to be. So let's swipe right over to that montage. Let's go. Down below and tell me what your favorite pop was that I got. Personally, my favorite was those original Kellogg uh, cereal icon add-ons. I'm trying to get them all. I want them all. We'll see how that goes. But let's start getting into what I picked up this month. So first thing I want to show is the Batman. I got the Batman the Complete Animated Series Collection. Check it out. Let's see what you guys thought. Where did you guys pick this up as well? It's limited edition, so if you guys didn't get it yet, do go find out because you are, if you're a Batman fan, you're going to want this. Of course, the next thing I did get was Red Dead Redemption this month. I've been playing the hell out of this. I already have like 30 hours in this game. I've been, I've been losing sleep because of this this game's great if you're a fan of the original or if you haven't even played the original do pick this one up it's fun you don't need to it's pretty cool to the first one it's definitely a great game and then i also picked up call of duty black ops 4 which i gotta say this game is a ton of fun i haven't been huge on the call of duty game since modern warfare 2 but this game is actually sucking me back in and i gotta recommend this one if you're one of those people who have missed call of duty missed that zombies mode where you can just have fun this is definitely one of those you don't have to do the easter egg and zombies to get away with it it does have its own battle royale mode no campaign this time around but it is a blast to play and i definitely recommend it then this month i also picked up ant-man and the wasp steelbook i really like the steelbook it's the 4k version of it i think this is better than the last ant-man steelbook and i also did get the normal ant-man and the wasp blu-ray but i also had to upgrade to a 4k because I mean, the movie's beautiful looking. I mean, the whole quantum realm is something else. I also did pick up Hook this month on 4K. I've never watched Hook, surprisingly. And if I did, it was a long, long time ago. But this is a film I, I really do want to watch. I need to find time for. I need to stop playing Red Dead so I can watch Hook. But another 4K I did pick up this month was The Evil Dead. I love The Evil Dead. It's one of my favorite horror films of all time. One of my favorite horror franchises. And when it's coming on 4K, you got to pick it up. And speaking of The Evil Dead, I got Ash vs. The Evil Dead, the complete collection. This is the whole series. I wish I would have gotten a season four, but man, we got three seasons of Ash kicking some ass, kicking some dead-eyed ass, and I can love, love, love the series. If you do not watch it yet, this is the best time to go pick it up. Two other films I also got sent was the 4K version of Skyscraper and also the 4K version of The First Purge. I did two separate reviews on these 4Ks and I, I enjoy both of these. I think personally this is the second best Purge film. It's a blast to watch. The guy who's the main character in here should be the next Blade. And Skyscraper is an entertaining time and has Dwayne Johnson. What can you say about it? But then I also got La La Land. Now this is my steelbook, but I upgraded to the 4K. I actually went to a used store. I found the 4K. I got it for a free deal off it. So I bought it and I now I'm just going to sell the DVD and Blu-ray copy because I just wanted to place it into my steelbook. I love the steelbook. It's a beautiful steelbook. La La Land's one of my favorite films of all time. On 4K was The Incredibles. I actually got this one for free from Zia. They were doing a buy three, get one free. And this was my free one that I picked out. The Incredibles on 4K. Why don't you have it? I can't wait to get the second one on 4K and Blu-ray. With my next 4Ks, I did get the Planet of the Tr Apes trilogy. I upgraded the 4K versions. This was only 20 bucks for all three. I love Zia Records. They hook it up. And the last thing they really hooked it up with me, Amazing Spider-Man on 4K. Now, listen i get it people hate on these films i like them i like almost all the spider-man films i think there's fun things to each and every one of them and i like the andrew garfield as this and these, these are the only ones i haven't upgraded to i actually only have the dvd so this is the perfect time to pick it up this was my 4k haul this was my blu-ray haul my pop haul for the month of october not definitely that big i was hoping to get my incredibles 2 early copy to put into this but i didn't that's gonna be on next month but this is my october haul i'm curious to hear your guys thoughts what did you pick up this month what was the favorite thing that you saw that i picked up let's talk about it down below in the comments if you guys are new here hit up sandwich on films also down below because right down there you guys can get into advanced movie scenes and check out some movie news and even some movie reviews but guys of course until next time stay classy